Hey guys, today I'm gonna share to you the Nbot most common mistakes. Okay, this is most common mistakes that Nbot users make, including myself in the past. All right, so let's say you open short position. As you can see, the market is going up, so your long position would be good, but your short position could be in trouble. So let's say if you were to open short position around this price, okay, around 20,760. Let's say you open short position right around here, and you can see the market actually is not in the range anymore, okay? It isn't in this range, it break out, right? It break out to the upside. So your short position kind of have a huge floating loss. Right, it didn't go down, okay, it didn't reverse to hit your average price. So that would be the problem for your short position when uh, the market trending up like this. Okay, so usually what the bot will do, the bot will keep doing averaging. Now this is a capital problem, guys. Okay, when the bot do averaging, don't forget the bot use more of your capital so your capital get depleted okay your money get less and less and now your liquid price is getting closer okay your liquid price from let's say your liquid price above here it become here so you can see it's getting scarier and if you hit this liquid price you lose everything so it's very important that you don't waste your bullets Okay, you don't waste your funds doing useless averaging. Let's say if the market get out of your range, let's say this is your range, if the market break out out of it, you shouldn't do averaging. Okay, you wait the market to cool off, to calm down, and then you do your averaging. Okay, so instead of you doing averaging here, you could wait up here. Okay, this is a safer way to do averaging. Okay, wait the market for maybe a day and see if the market in the range, then you can do averaging. There are so many other indicators to know that if the market is already stabilized and then you can do averaging. So I think uh, this is very important thing that you need to consider. And also guys, if you go to your end board here, you can set your max order. Let's say this is the range that you start with set your mix order maybe four okay four out of four or five out of five so you don't set it to seven out of seven or eight out of eight if you set to seven out of seven or eight out of eight sometimes with the market just break out like this you know the bot will cover and then you will lose a lot of your capital so it, it's very very important to understand your uh your risk management and again, I cannot stress it enough. If you do averaging wrongly, let's say if you do averaging here, your average price will become here, right? And then if you look at the market, it doesn't go down, okay? It's stuck here. Let's say if you buy here, then your average price is probably around here. And it actually hit it right there after, literally after four days okay then you will hit your average price so some people they don't have money okay they don't have money they get stuck here okay they get stuck here they cannot do any more averaging so you can see this is a prolonged floating loss okay so your average price is here you can go to your end board and check your average price okay you can check it you can see what is your average price now and then you can see where the market is if let's say that average price it's not hit for let's say two to three days you better cut loss state when the market goes as near as possible let's say you can see here the market goes here you know what i would do i will cut loss state so this is the price difference so this is where uh, the difference is and you can cut loss state if you want to you know to play safe if the market were to go up again you will have even more losses so Again, this is a, a consideration, guys. Okay, you gotta be uh, smart with your money management. I cannot tell you what to do. I, I just 
can tell you what I would do personally uh, from now on because sometimes you know we have this uh, I would say we we have this stubbornness okay stubborn very stubborn that we don't want to cut lost it we think okay we always think that ah the market is going to go down but sometimes you know the market just go against you and not what you think so you can see here again you can use a indicator like stochastic rsi to find the oversold area okay you can see this is kind of oversold area here and here so you can cut lost it so it is nearer to your average price if you don't have enough capital to do average and hopefully this video helped you i'm gonna you know in the future i will share to you a more common mistake that people have when trading binance futures okay whether you use and or manual trading you know it's the same thing